through the working power of the Holy Spirit, Women in Word worked hard this year to fulfill the three key strategic objectives, which are mission, spiritual growth, and leadership. This year, witness great women actions to carry out the mission of the church, great controversy projects. Women alone purchased and distributed a total number of 51,829, in addition to their general contributions in their various local churches. Women distributed these books in local chief palaces, presidential offices, business centers, different offices, university campuses, military barracks, hospitals, in homes to both rich and poor. We pray for rich harvest of souls due to this initiative. Another mission-oriented project that women embark upon this year is the initiative called Word Women's Ministry Almost Home Evangelism Project. The Women's Ministry Department produced 10 evangelistic sermons based on the three angels' messages and it is entitled Almost Home Evangelism Series in three official languages, English, French, Portuguese. This became a tool for women to organize public and occult evangelism throughout the territory of Word this year. The total of 920 evangelistic campaigns were held by women's ministries throughout our division and a total of 5,897 amazing souls were baptized to the glory of God. The amazing miracle took place in Sierra Leone Conference and Guinea Conakry in Wahom this year. We have for the first time in their history women preach in 30 and 9 sites respectively and a total of 293 and 22 souls were baptized. To God be the glory. <laughs> Lastly, in accomplish the mission, women preach the 10 evangelistic sermons in more than 35 local dialects. These are uploaded on the World Women's Ministry YouTube and women send the links to their contacts. This digital evangelism by women has opened a door to reach a higher platform and it has helped our women to find a means to reach out to friends that are not in their vicinity. Women themselves testify also that this exercise has helped them to grow spiritually. And by the grace of God, this digital evangelism continues. It is a thing of joy to report that this year, 10 young women from Women Ministry Department serve as Adventist young missionary volunteers. They serve as kindergarten school teachers, health and wellness evangelists, Bible workers, baking evangelists in five different unions. And these are Eastern Nigeria Union Conference, Western Nigeria Union Conference, Eastern Sahel Union Mission, Southern Ghana Union Conference, and Northern Ghana Union Conference. It was a great experience for these young ladies. And by the grace of God, five souls were baptized in Eastern Sahel Union Mission as a result of the ministry of these young missionary volunteers. By the grace of God, our women daily engage in devotional activities, such as prayer, Bible study, and the reading of Ellen White devotional material organized by women's ministries departments through WhatsApp platforms, Telegram, and Facebook. In addition, all the spiritual days of women ministry prepared for spiritual growth, they are duly observed by the churches this year. This year also witnessed four union-wide and nationwide women's ministry congresses, namely Central Africa Union Mission, where more than 500 women assembled. Cameroon Union Mission with more than 1,500 women, Cape Verde with more than 700 women, and Ghana National Women Ministries Congress where more than 4,000 women were nurtured spiritually. The First Lady of Central Africa Republic and the First Lady of Cape Verde, they graced our Congresses with their presence. I am pleased to report that women in our division are continually engaging in continued education and development through the GC Women's Ministry Leadership Certification. 
This year, 1,304 women received their certificate of completion from Continued Education Unit of Andrews University, thereby providing more women equipped to do Mission for Christ in our division. Our profound appreciation goes to God, our Heavenly Father, who is working through women in this division. We thank our Able Women Ministry Directors at all levels for their cooperation and hard work this year 2023. We also extend our gratitude to the administrators of all levels for their support, the pastors and all other departmental directors for their encouragement. We are grateful to God for all our God-fearing women and young ladies who serve the Lord with all their hearts. Through the help of God, each woman in word with one voice respond, I will go reach my world. It is our plan to continue in our evangelism initiatives and to invest more in the spiritual growth of our women. We solicit your prayer and support as usual. God bless you. Do you wonder how the children's Sabbath school classes enhance the total involvement of children who attend our churches in this division, thereby fulfilling the mission of the church? Let me share a few stories of how this is happening with us in, through this report. Lizzie is 12 years old from Tema, from Southern Ghana Union Conference. She loves bringing friends to church. At age six, she walked into the campus of Community 12 SDA Church. And since that time, she has been coming to church. Though she's a non-Adventist, but she kept coming. Do you know that today, this young girl has been bringing many people, many people to Sabbath school, many children, at least, at least, she comes to church with at least nine non-Adventist children every Sabbath. Is that not mission for Christ? It is mission. Let me tell you the story of Lodina too. Lodina is eight years old and she has won the entire family of hers for Christ. The story started last year when she attended church with an Adventist child at uh, Kojokro SDA Church in Southern Ghana Union Conference. Lodina had a warm reception by the children's service teachers and all their members in the class. So she developed interest to worship at the church every Sabbath. During an indoor evangelism organized by Women's Ministry Department, children were also asked to invite non-Adventist friends and parents. Lodina decided to invite her family to the evangelism. She began with her mother, since her father had traveled on a work schedule. She persistently forced her mother to attend the program. And finally, on the fifth day, her mother attended with her. On the sixth day, appeal was made and her mother gave her life to Jesus Christ through baptism. A few days later, the father returned home, where he received news of the mother's recent full faith and baptism into the SDA church. The father was amazed about the new faith his household had found because it was his old faith. He had abandoned the church for over 20 years. Today, the entire family have come back to church and they are Adventists. I tell you the story of Grace Igwe from Eastern Nigeria Union Conference. He's another child of 13 years, and she has been coming to church since February this year. During the January 2 with Child Ministries Festival of Baptism Evangelism, children visited her in the church neighborhood and invited her to come and listen. She attended the program and got converted. She also comes to church every Sabbath and also attend weekly program. Yes, she put on her hearing, but we know that Christ has worked in our hearts. In fact, Grace Igwe used to participate in all the programs in the church now. And she even participated in the sharing of Michael Aswai, the great controversy booklet for children. Do you know that there is a village in Cote d'Ivoire called Bonu that was started by, by children who were kept with the Seventh-day Adventist church there? The church had been stagnant for many, many years and there were no people to join the church. But something happened at one time because the parents used to bring their children and drop in the church when they go to farm. And so the church decided that they are going to seize this opportunity to be able to take care of these children. So these villagers who were enemies, Muslims, they used to leave their children when they go to work. 
And so the church began to teach these children. By the time the children reached adolescent age, they have given their hearts to Jesus Christ. And the parents realized that these children have already become Seventh-day Adventists. Though some of them were also persecuted, but they remain firm. Today, there are more than 200 members in the church of Bonu as a result of children's ministries. So we thank God for the work that God is doing through this children's ministries department. Our children have not lagged behind in carrying out different evangelism initiatives that have led to baptism this year. Our children share tracts and books in the neighborhood. This year, children had access to the great, to the children version of the great controversy book entitled Michael Ask Why. They studied it and they also shared with their friends. Our children organized community service and they visited the needy around them with rich gifts and prayer. They also preached in different public evangelistic crusades in different locations. And this has resulted into total baptism of 170 souls. To God be the glory. In addition, vacation Bible schools were organized in different fields this year. Many non-Adventist children alongside the Adventists participated and gave their hearts to Jesus Christ. By the grace of God, each of our 10 unions has received funds to begin children's projects in their territory in order to reach more children in the community for Christ. And examples of these projects are what you can see on the screen. In order to nurture the spiritual growth of the children, the department organized a Bible study series on the 28 fundamental beliefs of the church using the GC material entitled God Lost Me 28 Ways. Many children participated and they finished all the lessons. A certificate of completion was offered to the 1,600 children in Northern Ghana Union Conference. We praise God for this. In some of our fields, Children Ministries Department also organized retreats and conventions for children, whereby they were nurtured for spiritual growth. Children Ministry Leadership Certification Courses. Levels 1 and 10 are the principal tool to equip the children's ministry leaders at all levels. By the grace of God this year, Many children leaders successfully gone through different levels of these certification courses, thereby gaining insight into how to minister to our children. Likewise, our division participated in piloting the new Sabbath school curriculum for children in three unions. Thereby, we also contributed to the overall evaluation of this curriculum organized by the World Church. The World Children's Ministry Director and Southern Ghana Union Conference Director represented our division in the worldwide AIJ training that took place in Cancun this year. Our special thanks to God. And we also give special thanks to all our directors and administrators at all levels. And to the parents and guidance who support our department in all their endeavor to bring our children to Christ. God bless you all.